<laughs> if you're gonna be in here, you have to shush. Hi guys. Um. <laughs> Today we're gonna be doing. Let's just go right into it. Um, Cody's here. He doesn't know how to act with um professional YouTubers. <laughs> if he is like distracting me, I'm sorry, but. He's getting edited out. Let's get right into it. So I'm gonna do a get ready with me and um, Des, Joss, and I are gonna do like a happy hour later because we're all on lockdown, obviously. Haven't seen them in at least, what what month are we? April? I haven't, are you <laughs> kidding me? I haven't seen Jocelyn since, I mean, since February actually. And then Destiny probably at least a month. But we're probably three weeks into this quarantine. I don't even know what day it is. Okay? So, I don't know. I'm just going to try to get cute or something. Like, a little bit for the happy hour. Because I'm not going anywhere or anything. Here we go. I just took a shower. I'm not taking this off of my head. Because, let me tell you, um... There's like a bunch of twisties going on and like some oil situation, but I planned on washing my hair tomorrow. So this is gonna be the gear look. And then we're just gonna try to make the face look a little more alive or something. I don't know. So yeah, here we go. Moisturizing the lippy poos with this like algina sh that I got at Sephora, like a bundle. You know how they like put all the like fun stuff at the um, register. I got the little package of the two. Can you, what are you doing? Are you shaking milk around? What is that? Focus okay. <laughs> but yeah, I got this um, at the freaking, what's it called? The line. When I'm not, I'm trying to act like I know how to do makeup. I still haven't learned shit except like the vase and my eyebrows. Eyeshadow, I still need to learn some stuff, but and I don't even have any eyeshadow. I had like a palette, but then it was like, it, like I had it for a really long time, so I was like, I probably should throw this away. But I did get a new foundation by Pat McGrath, okay? So I, I kinda, kinda know something, I guess, if that qualifies. I tanned a little bit like the past couple days since I haven't had shit else to do, so. Will it still match? Maybe. So let's just go. Oh, oh, no. So I have this stuff that Destiny put me onto. It's the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And I'm already, I'm a beauty guru. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna use a finger that I didn't touch the foundation with. It's basically like a primer. And it's bomb because it really like sticks the foundation to your face. Look, look at me. I'm so crazed. But yeah, I just like lay it down. And it really makes the foundation stick. And it smells real, really good. She got this for me, actually, for Christmas. I don't even remember things anymore. My brain hasn't been like super stimulated like socially. So I feel like it's kind of like shriveling but yeah let me get, let me go back to Pat McGrath and like I usually just like do that stuff just I really like that the sound foundation has a pump too because girl so I started off like super light but whatever I don't know why I'm acting like I'm getting a tutorial just like I like to keep my stuff like really natural I feel like everyone's like checking in with their supporters and stuff about the whole quarantine business, you know, because everyone's kind of <laughs> dealing with it in different ways. Oop. I feel like for me it hasn't been the worst, to be honest, because realistically I am healthy and I feel like I, st and I still have my job. I don't want to take away from people that are obviously going through it, but I am still okay, so I just feel like it's not in my best interest to worry until I have like reason to. Um, my boyfriend is kind of different than me in that way where it's like he's been 
a little more worrisome about the whole thing, which is totally understandable because it is a it's a crazy situation that we've never gone through. So I don't know. I definitely do get anxiety sometimes, though. That's for f***ing sure. Like, I do get, like, kind of, like, more snappy. I think that I'm, like, able to, like, deal with it in a better way also because I'm naturally introverted, so I feel like it's, like, kind of not the, like, worst thing. It just bothers me that I'm not able to do things when I feel like it anymore. It's like, no, you just can't do anything, you know? But I know it's for the best, and... It's all going to be good. I just like, kind of just like, not really tripping too much about it, you know? The only thing that I worry about is like, my mom is older. So I have, and luckily she's not like worried about it, so it's all good, but I've been trying to keep myself busy and stuff. Also, I'll tell you one thing that I miss. Um, my threading lady, because, um, I'm not really too trip like tripping on my eyebrows, but this mustache. Huh? Like I make it a point to like go to her like every like week and a half to two weeks. And I just haven't been able to do it. So like I'm gonna have to get the tweezers out. Also, my Botox is wearing off, but that's another video. <laughs> I don't know. What are you guys doing? Because I've been like trying to work out ish you know when I feel like it and stuff and try to like make sure I make it out of the house because if I am trapped in the house all day then I feel like more antsy and stuff but even if I go on a drive or something that's very helpful oh we haven't talked in a long time okay I got my wisdom tooth teeth removed like two months ago now and I was like, not okay, but I was kind of stupid because I got them removed, all four of them. Then I decided the next day, like, oh, I feel fine, actually. I was probably still high from whatever they had put me under with, um, to be honest, because I decided to go to work the next day and was like doing like actual labor. And the next day, my, I was, it was just not good. <gasps> but I think me going to work the next day really like hindered my like healing because I was ruined for like three days. Like they were really, it was really bad. And I couldn't eat. That was probably my least favorite part about it. Like eating was a chore. It was not. Okay, and since I'm like 28, Ooh. I guess that's like a big, like the older you are, the more like the healing process sucks. They weren't lying. And mine were like growing in like, just like disrespectful. Like, these are my babies that I grew and y'all are gonna like grow in like that. So for setting my brows, I'll either use the Gimme Brow, okay, which is the tinted uh, little gel, or this one is the clear gel, excuse me, sorry. I think I'm just going to do this because I already like did the whole, you know, the dark moment, but I really like this little brush for like applying, oh wait, hold up, oh it's not working, there we go, oh. Look at that. It has a little gunk on it, but I usually like you know, wipe that off. But I'll use this by itself if I'm like on the go. And I don't have time to like wrestle with my eyebrows. So we're just gonna do the clear the clear gel. Hmm. Shall we sculpt my queens? Beep beep beep. Oof, my back hurts. I'm not sitting properly because I have to like sit like this because I don't have anything higher to put my freaking phone on. I mean my camera. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, so you guys, so I'm supposed to go to freaking Europe this summer, right? 
don't know if that's happening anymore. It's supposed to happen at the end of June. Go to Croatia and Barcelona. And I hadn't had my um, passport for a really long time due to some legal issues. <laughs> Seriously, I got my passport last year and I've been just dying to use it and like so we planned this trip for our friend's wedding And Queen it might be canceled I mean their wedding honestly if like If TSA says y'all good like you can go to freaking Europe I might have to go like still to be honest you know because I've been dying to go somewhere. Even if I go to Mexico, I just don't care. I went to Mexico before when I was young, but like I want to go to like Baja. <sighs> also, the lighting is just like not the best right now, but it's okay. Whatever. We're too deep. <laughs> Act like this is like a professional video. Like, girl, you're about to sit right over there and get on FaceTime with your girls and get drunk at home. We're fine. They better appreciate this beat. I'm just kidding, it's like, it's like a, it's like a Jerry Springer fight, like, not for real. No diss to Jerry Springer, because to be honest, like, I was probably addicted to that show growing up. I like, funny. So you guys, so I, um, <laughs> so I'm usually like a huge fan of lash lifts because my lashes if you can see just grow like straight down but in old videos I think you guys saw I used to use the NYC lash curler from Target I couldn't ever find a lash curler like that was like that good because I think they discontinued it probably like three years ago now. So I've been using, I had been using like, um, Haponesque or Japonesque. I don't know how to pronounce it. <sighs> Until the other day though, Tweezer Man. They make a good one, okay? I think it's like, the bomb part about the NYC one, it had, first of all, it was cute because it had a little purple, like, curling pad on it, but it was also like $3, okay? Those were the bomb. But this one is like the closest one that I've seen to that. In years but look at that you can kind of see it oh what is that what's that mean oh is it hot is that what that means oh what does this mean something is popping up on my screen all right y'all sorry we had to take a quick little intermission i had to get a little beer because my camera was stressing me out. Um, it was overheating. Am I allowed to show this on YouTube? Do they care about that thing? I hear people be tripping. Whatever. So, see, they're curled now. We live. Ooh, we're so greasy. Eyelashes, eyelashes, eyelashes. Okay, so I've been using this stuff for years. Roller lash. I really, really, really enjoy it. Like, if I'm going out, I'll do a little, like, thicker moment, you know? Like, if it's nighttime, and I really want my eyelashes to be doing the absolute most. Because this one's, like, a little, like, like, one of the more natural joints. But, yeah. We live. But, yeah, I didn't want to make this video too much about the whole quarantine situation, because I know, like, everyone's talking about it, and, like, we're living it, so I don't really feel like we have to talk about it so much, but... I do just want to say, like, I understand, like, all of the safety precautions and things. It's just, like, it's an interesting time. Here I go. I was like, I don't want to talk about it, but here I go. It's such an interesting time. I'm kind of, like, not that I'm trying to enjoy it, because I understand that a lot of people are going through it right now, you know? Like, not only financially, but mentally, you know, um... It's just a weird, weird, weird time. Um, but I don't have anyone immediate that has it, like any immediate relationships that are dealing with it. So I'm trying to like 
just take it day by day and like not attach too much to it. I haven't, I went to like give my mom um, groceries because I didn't want her going to the store. So I went to her house, dropped groceries off, but still like six footed her herself because I like was like, I'm not playing with you. Like you're older, especially like who knows if I have it, if I had like, I have no, no idea. So I was about to play with her. Mm -mm. Hopefully you guys are all safe. Like honestly, I don't know. It's, it's just weird and scary. That's, I know, that's all I want to talk about for a quick moment. All I do know, this is one thing that I've been doing to kind of like not go, not crazy, whatever, like just like things to like kind of exercise my brain. Um, I've been like making a list of all the places that I need to hit up as soon as this <laughs> is over, okay? Because eh, I'm like, ooh, like that place sounds like a lot of fun. Like now that I'm like trapped in the house. I really love Pat McGrath stuff. It's like bomb. It's expensive though. Shit. Is this like a highlighter? I'm just gonna like pop it there. I don't know. And this, honestly, this is probably expired because this is old. But, um, it's still fine. We're good. I ran out of my Fenty gloss bomb. Mm -mm. I just have this like glossy stuff, which is nice. It's just like clear. Oh yeah, but Destiny and Jocelyn told me we're not doing our little thing for like another two hours. I was like, girl, I'm gonna have to get a drink. I'm sorry. I've been watching nothing but YouTube videos. Let me tell you, I, I, I've been like just really putting in work on watching YouTube videos. It's been really nice actually. It's crazy how time just flies. And for real though, like, before I've always I've always enjoyed a good nap, okay? Like when I'm actually off and like have time to take a little nappy nap. I think that since I haven't been socializing as much, like I need a little nappy nap when I do anything. Like Cody and I will like go somewhere and like skate a little bit or whatever. And even just going out of the house, even going to the grocery store, like everyone's on such like on edge and stuff, I'm just like, oh. girl, like, I'm tired after this. Like, cause it's just like, I don't know. I feel like everyone's kind of a high anxiety right now. And like, it's kind of like easy to like get a little sleepy after all this nonsense. I'm just hoping that once all this is said and done, like people aren't um, so we super weird. You know what I mean? Cause I feel like it's gonna like take like, there's gonna be a transitional period that we're gonna have to take to like get back to like somewhat normal, you know? Cause at this point like people are like becoming, like adapting to this situation. So it's definitely gonna take some time to like get back in the group of things. But people like, especially in LA, like not everyone, like I'm not one of those people that are like people in LA because I'm from LA and I really don't feel this way honestly, but there can be people that are like already late, no. you know? And after this <laughs> um. Hopefully, if we're not too weirded out by each other, like, beyond, you know? But yeah, so I took, um, I, what's it called? I, um, bought Final Cut Pro on my laptop, which was really expensive, but I figure now that I actually have time to make videos, like, what better time, you know? <gasps> Do y'all live for my look? Because <laughs> I'm not taking this thing off. It's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> but yeah, oh yeah, we moved into a new place. That's another thing. It's been literally a year since I've made a video, which is not okay. I understand. You know how I do. But um, I figure like now it's time to like pump out content, I guess. Like I have time. Like I really don't be having time like normally. Um, that's about it. Um, I have two hours to kill. I can't be drinking too much before because they're about to call me and be like, what up? You know? I love you guys. It's good to see you guys. Um, I'm, I can make, since I'm stuck in the house, I can make like a little video about our place, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm, <laughs> whatever. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But thanks for watching, you guys. I love you. And I'm going to set up my other camera because this one's 
been acting up and I forgot that the, it, this would do that to me so I'm gonna have to bring out my other one and see what's up with that but I love you guys thank you for watching bye